Hi, it's Gordon back. Um, I'm here to do a little bit of therapy to help you break the ties, these emotional ties with um, your relatives and friends who are still Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, please go back and listen to that before we do this. This is just actually the, the technique and uh, the explanations earlier. So, I'm going to ask you to do this with your eyes closed, okay? Um, now, I will just say one thing before we start. Cutting emotional ties isn't forever. As soon as you want to, whenever you're ready to remake those ties, you can make them in an instant. But for the moment, we're going to work on cutting them, okay? I can assure you that after you've done this, and you'll notice, you will feel very different. Not only that, but I've done this a number of times now with people. And what I've found is that the people with whom you cut the ties also notice it. And quite often I've had people who have phoned saying, um, I just felt, suddenly I just felt cut off. Okay, I, I felt I needed to make a link. So, this is a two-way technique. So, are you ready? First of all, I'd like to ask you to take a nice deep breath. Okay, so take a nice deep breath, breathe in, and as you breathe out, close your eyes. That's it. And now, as you breathe in again, I'd like you to breathe in white light. Imagine white light coming into your body and filling your body. And as you breathe out, I'd like you to imagine breathing out stress and anxiety. Breathing in white light, purifying your body, and breathing out anxiety, stress, and worry. And just continue to focus on that breathing as I talk to you. All you need to do is just listen to the words I say and follow the instructions, okay? Um, and continue to breathe in that way, just maintaining yourself nice and relaxed. So, to begin with, I'd like you to imagine yourself in a theatre. And I'd like you to imagine that you're up on the, the upper balcony, okay? And you're looking down at the stage, and the stage is empty at the moment. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to begin to invite people onto the stage, and we're going to talk to them. You're going to talk to them, and then they're going to answer you, okay? And I'll help you with that. And all you need to do is just repeat my words inside of your head and then notice the answer that we get back from these people. So first of all, I'd like you to invite your very closest family onto the stage. Your very close family. That might be your parents or your brothers and sisters, your children, anything like that. So once they're all assembled there, what I'd like you to do is this, just repeat the words that I'm saying as a question to them. Do you accept who I am fully and completely, unconditionally? Are you willing to support me for who I am, for what I am? Are you willing to love me unconditionally, regardless of my beliefs, my viewpoints, and who I am. Now, as you listen to their answer, if any of the members say yes to all of those, then if you want to, you can let them leave the stage. However, if the answer is no to any of those, they must stay on the stage. Okay. Now I'd like you to invite close friends who are Jehovah's Witnesses or who are still affiliated to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Invite them on to join your family. Okay. Usher them in. That's it. All of the friends, the closest friends, maybe the people you spent your life with, your many years. And now that they're there, I'd like you to repeat these questions to them. Are you willing to 
to accept me for who I am and for what I am? Are you willing to accept my beliefs about life, religion and the world? Are you willing to love me unconditionally, regardless of what I think or do? Now, if any of that group answer yes, then you have the choice of allowing those people to leave. But unless they've said yes to every one of those questions, they must stay. Now, I'd like you to invite anyone else who you were affiliated with or who has had some impact on you as Jehovah's Witnesses. That could be elders, it could be women in the congregation, very strong women, it could be the elders who actually disfellowshipped you or disciplined you, the committee of elders. It could be the whole congregation, if you so want to. And so invite all of those on the stage. And then ask them these questions. Are you willing to accept who I am fully and completely, in exactly the way that's right for me? Are you willing to love me unconditionally, no matter who or what I am? Are you willing to accept my beliefs, even if they are not in line with your own beliefs? And listen to the answers. If anyone in that group says yes to all of those, then if you want to, you can let them go. However, if they say no to any of them, they must stay. And then finally, I'm going to ask you to invite under the stage, and even though you don't know the faces, you certainly know who they are, the governing body of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Just invite them on. I don't know how many they are. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Invite them onto the stage. And then, once they're assembled, you can ask them this. Are you willing to accept who I am as a person? Are you willing to accept my individuality? as someone who can think for themselves? Are you willing to support the beautiful person that I am? Are you willing to love me unconditionally, even if I don't fit in to your belief system? And then listen for the answer. If any of them say yes to all of those questions, you can perhaps let them go. You don't have to. But if they said no to any of those, then they stay. Now, I don't know if there are anyone else that needs to come on stage. If there are, you can do that now. Just bring them on. And then once they're here, quickly run through the same questions. Are you willing to accept me? Are you willing to love me unconditionally? And are you willing to support me as the person that I am? And listen for the answer. If it's in the positive for every one of them, they can leave if they like, if you want them to. But if not, they must stay. So here we have a stage filled with people. Now every one of those persons down there is somehow entangled with you, is somehow linked. And perhaps as you sit there, you can look down and notice 
that coming from somewhere around your heart is a fine wispy like substance that links goes all the way down to those people fine kind of wispy fiber like, like substances that join you to all of those people and perhaps as you watch you can notice your energy being drawn down to those people notice how much energy is being drawn down all the time funneling down to all of those people and notice how very little if any is coming back and so perhaps now as you look at all of those people and look at all of those people who are stealing your energy you can understand how sometimes you can feel so weak and down but not for any more time no longer so as you notice all of those threads joining you to all of those people perhaps just above you you can notice that there's a big guillotine blade okay and next to you there's a big red button now that button sets the blade in motion when you press that button you're going to see the blade come down quickly and cut every one of those ties now when that happens you'll notice that all of those thin wispy threads will just begin to curl and shrink and go back all the way down to those people and then all the way back into your heart before you do that though there's something that's absolutely vital that you must do before you cut these ties and this is what you have to do now it might seem strange that I'm going to ask you to do this but I want you to do it anyway and there's a really good reason for that in a moment I'm going to ask you to forgive these people now that may be hard to do and that's okay the reason that you are going to forgive these people is because it's probably the most selfish thing that you are ever going to do you see forgiveness is or something only you can do and by forgiving these people you are setting yourself free not them in no way does this mean that you condone what they do what they have done and what they will do in no way do you condone that and I would never ask you to however by saying that you forgive them it releases you it releases these bonds that have been holding you tying you down and you will feel so free that you won't know yourself so and remember at the end of the day the only person you really um, asking forgiveness for or, or per pardoning is yourself the only person you're forgiving is yourself so when you're ready I'd like you to look at all of those people joined still joined to you and say these words even though I don't condone what you do what you've done and what you will do in the future I forgive you wholeheartedly because I know that you're not able to do any better and so I forgive you and just watch the reaction and notice how you feel as you let that forgiveness go and having done that turn to your button and when you're ready press it now see the blade come down chop all of those links cut them forever if you so want and just watch all of those little wispy threads starting to curl back going back to the people and back into your body now as you sit there look watching the people perhaps you notice what happens now that they are not joined to you now that they have none of your energy they begin to fade just like ghosts fading 
in fact if you blow hard enough they'll all blow away just watch them all blow away and I'd like you to place both of your hands over the part of your body where those links used to be place your hands there and feel yourself healing imagine the top of your head opens and a big strong white light comes in from wherever it comes a universal healing light and imagine it healing the whole of your body but particularly that place where those links were and feel it healing sealing mending and as all of that happens you look down and notice the stage is empty again and all of your energy is your energy now and you can choose to do with it what you will. So that's it. Now, you can open your eyes. If, at the end of this, you feel like you need to do it again, then do it again. Okay? And each time that you feel linked to somebody, you can come back and do this. And just run through the same process. Or, once you know the process, you can just do it in your own mind. Sitting down, taking it easy. And just cutting those ties. I know people who do that every day to make sure that they're not carrying around other people's issues. Okay, so I hope that's valuable. Give me a bit of feedback. Tell me how it went for you. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.